Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be going through SolidWorks Mold Tool Basics um, and I thought a good part to do it on would be Thor's Hammer. So I modelled this part in my last video. I put the link to that video in the bio. If you do like these videos, please subscribe to my channel and drop us a like. Uh, right, just, so just to get started, I'm going to get rid of the leather loop because we don't need that for uh, casting in the mould. So if I edit the delete bodies feature that I previously did and tick that so I've deleted the leather loop and so from there I, what I need to do is decide where I want to split the mold so I'm going to split it actually on the front plane so that is where I want my mold uh, mold to split when I cast it so we'll spin it around that way so what I'm going to do is go on to the right plane and I'm going to draw a line down the length of the right plane so it doesn't matter how long it is and what I'm going to do is do a split line and split the hammer so SolidWorks knows where um, you want to split your mold in relation to the part so from here I'm going to go to mold tools if you haven't got this tab open what you need to do is right click go tabs and tick mold tools so from there I'm going to go up to split line I'm going to select my sketch and I'm going to select the surfaces that I'd like to split. So I need to select the surfaces all the way around the hammer, including all the surfaces on the handle, which is a bit of a bit fiddly, but it defines it for the software so it knows how you want to basically mould it. So I've nearly done it. So the only the awkward bit is the handle. So I've just done the hand all the handle. Make sure I haven't missed anything, and I'm just going to go around this side of the hammer as well. So now I've selected where I want to split the part. I'm going to tick it. And as you can see now, uh, even though it's still one body, still one body, I've actually got a split line down it all. I've noticed on my previous model as well, I've, I've had the splits. I've actually... Um, had had a separate body for the hammerhead and the handle so let's go back and i need to combine them to make them one body so what i'm going to do is just click them both combine i'm just going to add them together so the one entity now and i'm going to put the split line on so now the split line's there and, and it's still one body so going up to mold tools now i'm going to insert mold folders so now if i do that um, it, in fact, it won't let me do it yet because I haven't got any mold um, entities in. So I need a parting line for the for the mold. So the parting line is the front plane. So that's as you can see that intersects with my split line. And I'm going to do a draft analysis. And what this does is it shows you if you can't get any faces out of the mold as you demold it. So what it's saying is if a, it's saying red's bad, uh, blue's negative, um, and green and yellow are good. So comes in handy if you want to put some draft on to let certain surfaces out of your mould. But this shape, is the way I'm demoulding it, is demoldable. So now I'm going to go down to parting lines and I'm going to click round my split line. I know it's a bit annoying, but this is the way the software works, and it is well worth it in the end. Doesn't matter if you miss them or select them out of sequence. And that little red line is what the software thinks the next one is. But it's that one. So, as you can see, it's guessing wrong each time. But as long as you, you physically select the correct one, it's all right. So I'm just going to do the same. As you can see, the purple lines going around, I'm going to do the same on the other side of the handle. Just 
around the top of the hammer, nearly done. So now I have a closed uh, part in line for the mould. So if I tick that, it errors. So let's have a look at this error. One in six is open. So what it's done there is I've not, I've missed, I can see where I've missed, I've missed a line there. So if it errors like that with the yellow triangle, it means it's not a closed loop. So I'll tick that again. And there we go. So now you can see I've got two surface bodies after I've done that that have appeared. And these surface bodies, if I, you've got a cavity and a core. So if I hide the core and hide the actual body of the hammer, we've got a negative of the hammer to build a, to build a mold from. So it's done, all, it's done all the hard work automatically for you. So bring everything back, show. So the next stage, so I've done a part in line, is shut off surfaces. In fact, this mold doesn't need any shut off surfaces, it's part in surfaces I'm after. So you've got your part in line and what it's doing is it's projecting out from the part in line. So what I'm going to do is tick that. And now I've got the three elements I need to create a mold. I've got I've got the parting surface, the core, and the cavity. Core cav cavity and surfaces. So from there, what I need to do is make this a little bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the front plane sketch. And I'm just going to draw a box around it, the size I'd like the mold to be. So let's make it 500 by. 750. Let's make it in the middle of the mould by drawing a centre line, making that construction. And then just putting a dim from there to there of 160. So, oops, so I'm sorry, I've just exited that sketch a bit prematurely. What I need to do now is go to convert entities and I'm going to convert this surface so basically I'm squaring off this surface edge which you'll see in a minute once I've just gone round here if I don't miss any I missed it you need to be careful not to miss any bits. I missed, obviously missed some on the parting line. It's easily done. Don't beat yourself up about it if you do. It's very, it just throws out an error that's very easy, easily edited. That's the good thing about this software. Nearly done. That's the awkward, the handle, the awkward bit out of the way. Just go around the edge of the hammer. And close the loop. So I'll select that. So let's make sure I've not missed any bits. See, I've missed a couple of bits there. So I'll just go back to convert entities. Click there. So is it just the one? Looks like it. So I'll just tick that. And I'll exit that sketch. So now I've got a sketch with the square around it and the profile of the parting surface. And I'm going to go back to my mold tools and I'm going to go, go to filled surface. I'm going to use that sketch. I'm going to tick it. So now I've got a surface fill and the parting surface. What I need to do is knit these together. So if I go to knit surface, merge entities and tick it. Then you have a knit, knitted surface there. Just hide that to check it and hide that. So now I have a knitted surface there. So I need to use that as the parting surface for my mold. So now if I go just show that again. Not the surface fill, sorry, let's get rid of that. Um, show. So that's what I've created. I've created the the shape of the, the cast and the mould I want. So I'm going to show the hammer one. So that's both sides of the hammer. So they're the three elements you need to create, to let SolidWorks create a mould. You need a core and a cavity surface and a parting surface so from there if you just go to tool in split 
and I click the, the surface and I convert the entities of that face. So I've put a square around the extremities of the parting surface and come out of that. And now it's if it's using the surface knit as the parting surface and the two parting line surfaces we created to make the mould. So if I tick that and there you have it. It's a boring square, but I'll, sh I'll do the best to show you. So now I'm going to just go to move, move bodies and click the cavity, move that out. And I'm going to tick that and do the same again for the hammer. Ah, oh, that's good. It didn't like me selecting that. So I'll just do that for the hammer. Move that out of the way. Tick that. So there you have it. How to create a mould in SolidWorks. A nice simple one. Um, I hope you've liked this little video. Um, if you have, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, Thanks for watching.